as I'm sure you're now well aware, Haskap berries are a superfood native to Siberia that is well suited for growth here in Canada. Now they've garnered considerable attention due to their high antioxidant content. Now antioxidants are compounds that can scavenge reactive forms of oxygen, rendering them inert. In this reactive form, oxygen can alter genetic structure, deform proteins, and has been attributed to the progression of debilitating conditions like cancer, dementia, and cardiovascular diseases. Prior studies have examined the effects of Haskap berries on the model organism C. elegans, and, and has observed the lifespan extension and antioxidant capacity. My research has been to look at the specific mechanisms that allow Haskap to, to um, exhibit this function. They primarily work through upregulation of a transcription factor known as DAF16. And our model is going to be homologous to FOXO in mammals. Now, DAF6, these uh, transcription factors are known to modify genetic expression through binding over, over 100 different genes. Using a lifespan assay, I examined the importance of a known uh, target of DAF16 called MEV1, which goes for complex two of the mitochondria. Using mutant CL with the MEV1 knockout, I determined that MEV1 did not contribute to the overall lifespan extension of HASCAP, but I did see that the HASCAP was able to drastically increase their lifespan to that of passing their wild type counterparts. Next, I examined the ability of HASCAP to upregulate an antioxidant enzyme known as GST4 or glutathione S transferase 4, which rolls off the tongue. Um, using a GFP linked reporter gene, I observed that Haskap does not upregulate GST4, therefore eliminating it as a potential effector of Haskap-induced antioxidant function. In conclusion, these results show that Haskap's potent ability to decrease oxidative stress is present, as well as provide some similar insight in the mechanism by which Haskap is, is able to function. Thank you for your time.